Um, so I'm making my spline for this guy out of African blackwood. But I'm not going to use African blackwood to test the sizing of it. I've just got some scrap from around the shop. I've resawn this down a little oversized. The kerf is one eighth of an inch about. This is a little over. I've made a sled. You can see it's bounded on three sides. So the stock goes in there and it can't wiggle around very much. It's not going to get in there and go sideways and do some nasty stuff. Um, now I have a DRO, digital readout, on my uh, planer, my Felder. Um, so I made this sled, this piece, exactly one inch. So uh, on my readout, I, can, I know exactly where I am. I just subtract that one inch. Uh, I want that spline to fit a little loose because I'm going to have this drawn together like this and then push it in from the end. And if it's slightly tight and that glue seizes up, uh, I'm never going to get it all the way through. So it needs to be a little loose. So let's go ahead and uh, run this guy through and test for sizing. Okay, this is 0 0.120. That's it goes in there, but it's a little it's too snug. I'd never make it if it um, the glue started seizing up. It would just not go in. So, let's go down another 5 thousandths. Hit it. <clears throat> so these splines are going to get cut into a wedge shape. The angle is 72 degrees or close to that. And I've calculated, now this dimension from here to here is three and three quarters. The top of that wedge shape should also be about three and three quarters. That's my calculations. So let's, I've got it set up for that. Let's give it a shot. Okay, let's come in a little closer and test the fit on this guy. Okay, let's see what we have here. Looks good. Okay, we're ready the to put the spline in. Uh, the way this happens is we're going to pinch dog this guy. First, we'll put a little glue on this bottom side here on both sides. Pinch dog. Turn them over, put some glue on the spline, insert it. It'll look like that. And 
then we will clamp it flat. So let's get started. Oh, and I'm using extend glue, tight bond extend. Um, I don't think it's going to seize up quite as fast, and that uh, can be an issue. Okay. Okay, and. Yeah, right about there. Yeah, yeah. Nice and tight. Okay. Let's get some glue on the spline. And let's slide him in there until he bottoms out. There. Okay. This is going to be a little messy. So we're going to, that's why I got all the brushes and stuff here. air. Okay, good and clean that way. You notice I'm using a clean brush every time. I'm not trying to trying to avoid spreading That glue residue around. Okay. Oops, be right back. I need to get some clamps. go. Let that guy sit. So it's time to uh, trim the spline. Uh, I'm using a router table. Um, Three-eighths call it one quarter inch bit. That'll leave me a sixteenth uh, proud. Uh, the reason I'm using the router table instead of a, a handheld with a bearing or even the router table with a bearing is that the bearing it's spinning real fast and it catches in here. And uh, before it slows completely down, it leaves a little groove in there that I've got to sand out. Uh, the uh, collar will not do that. The problem though, is the collar is too high. Here's one that's regular height. I took one like this and ground it down where it was shallower because right here, this collar will hit on the spline. So I ground it down to give it clearance. Um, and I'm gonna climb cut, and I'm gonna go very, very slow. Right here, it seems to wanna blow out. So I'm just gonna go climb cut very, very, very slow, take it easy, make, take off a little bit at a time, and should be good.
we're good. So now I want to take that spline that we just uh, trimmed and soften it a bit. Come on over here and um, I'll show you how I do it. Okay, I'm going to start by putting tape right here. and right here, and you'll see why a little later. Okay, medium grain, small rasp. There's uh, chatter marks and stuff in here. I'm gonna take those out. Okay, now right here, that's sharp. I can feel that, that's sticking up, that's a sharp edge. What I wanna do is take that down a little bit, right at the very end there. That's why the tape's here. Because I, I, see there, I got kind of close, so I need to be careful. Okay, 220 grit. What I'm going to do is I want to when my finger thumb goes across there, I don't want to feel something sharp. I want to feel it smooth. There, that's what I want. Okay, uh, I'm going to walk over the other side. I've got cameras and lights in the way. This is cumbersome to do with all that stuff. And do the other side. Again, 220 grit. There we go. Okay, so I've got this folded over like folded over like that. I'm going to come in here and try to just ease that edge. Take the sharpness off. And up in here, it's a little more difficult. Let me get a smaller piece. Okay, and I'm gonna let's get a sharp one. Kind of do this taut thing a little bit. Okay, so right in here, I'm gonna take a three sixteenths inch dowel and wrap some 220 around it. Help me get in there. I can also ease just a little bit there. Okay, let's go for the 320. And let's wrap the 320 around the dowel.
Uh, oh, there we are. Now, oops, there it is, 600. That polishes it off. See if we can get in here with the um, dowel again. At 600, we can go cross screen, and it's not going to be a big deal. Okay, there we have it. The other side, different shape, same thing though. So, a little change of plans. I had originally planned, I'm doing five pairs and then bringing them all together at once. Uh, but some of these splines have proven to be just a little bit um, tough to get in before they start seizing up, uh, even though I'm pretty loose here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring two pair together and, um, and try to reduce that number down to three splines that I have to do all at once to uh, get the final glue up. So let's get busy on this pair here. There, we're good. So, we're ready for the final glow up. But first, a little note. Don't leave your splines laying on a wet rag overnight. That's what you'll get. So, I've got um, three joints to do at once here. Um, I took a little more insurance out by sanding these down just a little bit. Um, I don't want anything to go wrong at this point. Um, I've got three of these to get in, so I'm giving myself a little insurance. 